Hello everybody, how's it going? I'm very tired. What's up? What's up? Real Teximosis, Mewtwo PB, RP Genius with the Lorge Raid. What's up everybody who is watching PlayStation 5 Reveals? What's up Kydrian? What's up Lord Shadowcaster? Sub-Zero Smoke Rain and Dimian? Yeah, I'm flipping my sleep schedule today. So I uh, I've been up for about 21 hours right now. What's up, Waffa? So after skipping the PS4, do I see any real need to get a PS5, or am I getting a cheap PS4? I'm gonna go for the cheap PS4. Um, I I liked the announcements today. I thought they showed off some pretty cool looking games, but you know, it's tough. It's tough. It's hard out there in these streets. So Spirit Wolf, everyone trying to get a PS5. I got some concerns. What's up, CK? I see. I'm holding off, CK. I don't. I'm waiting for the PlayStation 64, and then, then they have my money. Where's the PlayStation 64, Sony? You lazy bums. So we're still working on Army Men Sarge's Heroes, which has been kicking my absolute butt. And we were gonna we're gonna resume that today. But yeah, you know, like I didn't really see anything that I had to have. I think the game I probably saw that had me like the most hype. Um man. It's weird, probably like Probably Gran Turismo 7, which is not going to sell me on a system. Um, Destruction All-Stars looks super cool. Kenna, Bridge of Spirits actually looks pretty good. Yeah, we're playing some Army Man Waffa. What's up, dorky? Yeah, we're on level 4. And uh, it's an escort mission, and it's been beating our ass. And I figured with being tired. Do I think our generation can do anything to keep the games we played in our childhood coming back? Yeah, I do. I think I think it's important to uh, to to stump for the games you love, to give them attention, to like you got you're you and I and, and anyone else who's streaming on Twitch is in a unique platform to like really raise awareness for stuff that, you know, the mainstream market is like not really thinking about. So yeah, I think it's I think it's doable. Yeah, it's a it's like an escort stealth mission hybrid. It's it's real tough. <laughs> it's 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 real tough. Sarge from Army Men, Sarge from Quake 3, and Chip Hazard from Small Soldiers. Uh, Large Marge comes out on top, running wild. Surge from Chrono Cross. A can of Surge. Yeah, man. <laughs> the day after we were joking about a new Alex Kid game, and they're like, hey, new Alex Kid game, I was just like, are you fucking serious? Are you absolutely fucking serious? You're bringing back Alex Kidd. I know, man. I, that's why I'm telling you. You gotta, you gotta be out here telling everybody about all these games they missed. I did see the X Men vs. Street Fighter cap. What's up, Trachea? Oh, that tank's coming up fast. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Alright. Oh! Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> I did not realize where I was standing. Fucking cool. Large Marge is immortal. Wait for that Neo Turf announcement. Neo Turf. I mean, yeah, they say Neo Turf PS5. Alright. I see you, Sony. I see you seeing us. And all the work we've been putting in.
Is that the mollusk? Large Marge sent you? Hell yeah. What's up? What's up to all the Large Marge fan community? Please keep writing fan fiction in support of our favorite character. Everybody's Golf is good. Everybody's Golf is a good franchise. They're fun. But they they kind of dropped uh, the ball on the last one a little bit, at least as far as multiplayer is concerned. I heard they patched it and fixed it. But... It's not the same. It's not the same game. It, you get a different sensation from everybody's golf than you do from Neo Turf Masters. Yeah, I'm, I'm flipping my sleep schedule today, Trachea, so hopefully it will lead to some earlier stream times for the next few weeks. Don't kill me, 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 don't kill me. All right. Now try and kill me. I'm dropping frames today, like already. This is concerning. I thought for sure, and I called it in your chat, Mo, when, when Shuhei Yoshida came out and he's like, I want to show you guys it's very near and dear to me. And uh, he hasn't worked on a lot of games. I was like, oh shit, it's actually Legend of Dragoon 2. And then he's like, Demon Souls. I'm like, you need to work on this game. What the fuck are you talking about? Very near and dear to you. I'm excited. I, you know, you guys know me. I'm not a huge fan of the Souls games. Demon Souls is the one that I played the most. Um, but, like, it looks good. And I know people are going to lose their shit over it. And it's cool that people will be able to play, like, the online features of that game again. So. A plus. A plus Demon Souls announcement. Even if I'm never going to buy it. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything on in the background, but, you know, I, I'm i currently cohabitating with four other people, so who fucking knows. They didn't show any Elden Ring. Uh, Shinji Mikami announced, yeah, uh, he showed Ghostwire Tokyo. Um, which looks cool. It looks really fun. Graphically, I I can't really speak to the graphics I saw today because I was watching in 480p. It was like part laziness, part mind games, where it was like, if I can't see how good the graphics are, then I'm not going to get excited about the graphics. But from what I could tell, nothing like seemed super fancy. It was just a lot of like showing off the solid state technology. Like a lot of both uh, both Ratchet and um, Deathloop had the exact same mechanic in it where you like teleport to a location that you've like placed down and it was kind of jarring to watch like visually but i think both of those games kind of showing off that sort of seamless transition but it makes me think that like we don't really need a ps5 right now there's a lot of things i don't like about the ps4's internals and i'm happy to kind of start from scratch but it really felt like they could have just sold, like, an external solid-state add-on to the PS4 and held off on the PS5 for a couple more years. This is where we are with our consoles right now, honestly. It's like a five, six-year lifespan. That's about it. That's, that's what we're getting these days. 360 was a lot longer, I guess. But... Yeah, something a little more stable for sure. No more blue screens, no more weird like I hope this hard drive is huge, man. I hope they they I I think they would have said something already if they were going crazy, but I want to see like a 10 terabyte hard drive cuz these installs are rough. What's up, BapK? That's not enough, man. 2 terabytes is not enough. Especially if you're going to sell a digital-only version of this console. Oh my god, you're going to be able to hold like three games on that thing. They didn't announce anything about the hard drive space in the in the video today, the Mollusk. I don't know if they've said anything prior. I haven't been paying attention. I think so, yeah. I think, I think Sony and Microsoft are kind of locked in a, in a game of chicken. And they have been ever since um, 
ever since the E3 where Sony fucked, like, just torpedoed the Xbox One with their dumb DRM ideas. The 4DO with Army Men launch title. Army Men Legacy Collection. And a brand new Army Men game. And uh, Zadnos 2, the ultimate launch title lineup. Yeah. I think it was a good announcement. I think they showed off a really... I, they showed off a really wide variety of games, and it was really interesting to see how much they pushed, like, games from smaller studios. I don't know how much of that was intentional versus, like, how much of that was we don't have any, like, other big AAA shit to show. Um, but, yeah, I think they, they showed a pretty diverse selection of games. Can't really complain. Some stuff I wasn't feeling, but that's pretty normal. I think lifespan of Switch is five, six years. Um, it depends, honestly, CK. Because handhelds are a little bit of a different beast, and it just kind of depends on if they choose to think of it as a handheld or not um it also kind of depends how much of a, a graphical update we're really going to see from these next consoles the series x and the ps5 because if it's not that different from the current gen i think nintendo will stand pat i don't think they'll rush it oh shit speaking of rushing it oops Um, but if there is, if they do kind of show off something that's, you know, really more powerful and flashier, then yeah, I think they'll, they'll come out with some kind of update, but I don't know. I don't think they need to right now. I don't think they really do. And especially if they, uh, if they keep their sales momentum right now with, uh, with such a, what you have to assume is going to be a much lower price point. That could end up helping them out if if these two consoles don't have a strong launch. The Switch could uh, not really like hold the lead. Like the PS5 and and the Series X are both are you know one of them or both of them are gonna bypass the Switch just because that's how these things work. But I have to assume that you know like this holiday season, I think uh, I think a lot of people are going to be looking for a lower price point. I mean, this holiday season, A, because when you have a launch... Um, I didn't start my timer. Whoops. Uh, you guys got me got me rambling. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's add... Let's add... 10 minutes? 10 minutes to the clock? Um, you... you Normally, you know, there are always going to be people who want the new thing, like the brand new thing, and they're going to shell out the six hundred dollars or whatever it's going to be. And you're, you're, that's where your your initial user base comes in, and it could be Christmas presents, it could be just people wanting that day one tech. But like this year in particular, I mean, money's going to be tight for a lot of people. Money's going to be real tight for a lot of people if you know virus projections and, and shit like that hold like if if things play out the way they say they're gonna play out no one's gonna have six hundred dollars in november man <laughs> and so if you want to if you want to get a, a new console this year yeah that switch might be looking real nice retro my bits thank you for the follow Mo, I gotta know though. Clubhouse games for the Switch. If I buy it, 
If I buy it, you wanna you wanna play some card games and shit, man? Because I've been thinking about it for like a week straight. I'll go buy it tomorrow. If you tell me we can we can rock some some fucking poker and shit. <laughs> Mosquito repellent. I don't think they have Uno on there, but they have a bunch of. They have bowling. Uh, they have like what else they got? They got like I think they got mahjong. Like I gotta learn how to play mahjong. They got all kinds of card games. I wish they had Uno. That'd be sick if they had Uno. They have Rock'em Sock'em Robots. I don't really know what all's on it, but I loved the first Clubhouse games on DS. Yeah, real mahjong. Solitaire Mahjong and real Mahjong. <laughs> Are you asking for my permission? What's up, Bovine? It's only Japanese Mahjong? See, I don't know these differences yet. I need to be educated in the Mahjong ways. Oh, yeah. I played poker with you. I know, I know how you do it. Okay, well, the real question, Bovine, is do you have clubhouse games? Like, can... Can we get some games going if I buy this? Dude, there have been so many trucks on my street today. That's weird. Good to go. Okay, I spawned these guys in now. Killed them both. Yeah. Not wanting to pay 40. Yeah, see, that's the, that's where I'm at too, Bovines. I know, like, I really want it. I really want it. But I know if I wait, it's going to become, like, 15 bucks in a heartbeat. But but I really want it. <laughs> I'm, I'm torn. But I also, like, I need to buy my one new game of the year. You know? What's up, Hick there? Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's how it always is. I gotta be the one to take the hit. Uh, clubhouse games. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna buy it this weekend. <laughs> See, one of us buys it for 40 and then it's just going to be a guilt trip. Like, well, I bought it. I want to play it with you guys. Why, why haven't you guys bought Clubhouse games? Yeah. It's happened to me so many times in my life where I'm just like, I can't. My, my face is stuck. Yeah, this, this N64 encoding is shrekking my computer.
So uh, if you guys watched the PS4 stuff, what's the game you guys are most excited for? What's up, Ramses? It's kind of cheapy, but you know what really turned me on to it, uh, Bovine, is that it has like a single player campaign. Like there's a mission mode that teaches you like every single game and gives you like objectives to do in each of the games. And I got real into it. Pragmata, Spider-Man, Gran Turismo, Little Devil Inside. It was weird how much they were... Like, Little Devil Inside is really interesting to me because it looks like... It honestly looks like Breath of the Wild on the Wind Waker engine is what it looks like to me. Village or Ghostwire, Horizon, nothing. Deathloop and the Adventure. The new Square Enix IP, Project, Project Asthma, Village. I think it's cool they're finally doing uh, Oddworld Soulstorm. Like that, that shit's been in development for so long. Yeah, there's no checkpoints, Tex. You gotta do, you gotta do the entire level in one go. There are no checkpoints in this game. And we are in escort mission mode now, so if this dude gets killed, it's mission failed. I mean, people would have lost their shit, man. <laughs> people would have lost their absolute shit if he had done that. I think I'm gonna go the long way through this camp. I haven't tried this yet. Oh, someone's chasing. Yeah, I was surprised how quickly they're going to Miles. Like, I've, I've seen how the PS4 Spider Man plays out. I thought they were gonna kind of like lead into it more. But they were just like, nope, Miles, boom, go. I also, like, man, what a lackluster start when they're like, Grand Theft Auto V. I was like, you can't. That's not. No one cares. Like, <laughs> that's not enough. Do better, please. Okay, we got that tank down. I'm just gonna try not to rush this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, maybe this is okay, actually. Except I hear, like, big guns, and I can't tell where they're coming from. Oh, God. Ah, fucking hell. I think it's a new game. I'm pretty sure it's a new game. But it might have a lot of... It might be like an up port on the engine in a lot of ways. I don't think it's going to be like a huge massive overhaul. Like, I was talking to my boss about it, and he was like, Well, I mean, like, New York City's done. Like, they rendered it. <laughs> they don't have to make, like, a new environment. They already put that shit together. Okay, 
Okay, I need to go get a health pack. Yeah, I think so. I There's probably going to be some new mechanics as well, but I don't think it's going to be, like, too... Too crazy. I don't think it's going to be, like, mad different or anything. <laughs> Mr. Aziz is gonna flip out. Okay, am I safe? Nope. I know there's another tank through here. Okay, so far so good actually. Maybe I just needed to come in come at this a little more fresh, but I don't want to jinx myself. I know there's another tank out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not, that's not 100% their, their shit anymore. Sometimes they do other stuff. The game looks cool, but it's also like, someone mentioned it the other day, I forget who it was in chat, but they were saying like, if a game has project in the title, like they're not even, it's not even on their radar yet, because it's nowhere close to being done. Oh shit. Maybe that's what got me killed last time. They were parked on my helipad. Hey, we did it! Hell yeah. Alright, progress. Sarge, thanks, man. I owe you one. Yeah, yeah. Save it for the movie. Mission complete. Yeah, the faces in this game aren't great. The Green Nation will fight on to defeat Plastro and his super weapons. And cut. That's a wrap. Off the record, any idea where Plastro is getting these super weapons? You know that's classified information, Vicky. Reporting is ordered, sir. Uh, hello, Vicky. Hi, Sarge. What's up, Rain? We are doing army men. I think we're done, Vicky, but the tan forces are closing in. Don't leave the compound. I don't want you in any danger. Oh, Daddy, I can take care of myself. I think it's the green hair. Plastro is transporting hundreds of weapons through the dimensional portal for a massive attack against us. Dimensional portal? Then we've got to locate the portals and destroy them. Polygon hips. We located one uh, enemy camp, same camp where they're holding your machine gunner thick. And Hoover, your Minesweeper. The camp is located in the middle of the Black Forest. Find it and then rescue Hoover and Thick. Oh yeah, that goodbye Volcano High or whatever. Absolutely. Alright, our mission is... Cross the bridge. Okay. Ah, I'm already being shot, what the fuck? I just, like, I want to be like, eh, I don't know about that game, but they didn't show, like, anything. They just showed, like, characters and shit. You know? Goat Brush Threep Goat. That sounds like a mighty pirate. Thank you for the follow, Goat Brush. That's the kind of name a mighty pirate would have.
Yeah, who knows about that game? Like, I, I have no idea. What's up, Ronnie? I swear they, those developers were CG. I thought for sure they were gonna be like at the end, like, oh, all these people, they were on the PS5. They weren't real. I was like, nope, everyone just looks real fake for some reason. <laughs> What's up, Shamar? That's a shotgun. Who's doing that? Is it you? Yeah, it's you. How am I enjoying this game? It's neat. Yeah, I know, Electro. It's... I'm cursed. Um, I'm not totally in love with this, but it's, it's solid. You know? Well, the PS3 reveal was a huge meme. The PS3 reveal was a massive meme. I don't even remember the PS2 reveal except for like the weird commercials for it. I'm being shot. Disappointed there wasn't a traditional JRPG announced? Yeah, what's up, Z-Fan? Z-Fan's played Sarge's Heroes? I hope it's not a new Virtual... It's gonna be Wing War, Electro. They're gonna skip Elec They're gonna skip Virtual On. They're gonna go straight to Wing War. That's the next Sega IP that's coming back. They're like, you know what? We never released this on the 32X, and we had no reason to. So, we're bringing it back. Uh, we did play a level over, over a bathtub, yeah. That was level three. What's up, Javier Parker? I, I'm actually kind of surprised we didn't see, like, a Persona 6 teaser or something like that. I didn't think we were going to get much in the way of RPGs, but... I figured they'd want to, like... Yeah. Okay, I don't want to grab that med pack yet. Yeah, a bunch of companies are going to be doing announcements this weekend, I think. Yeah, it's kind of a virtual E3. I think that's sort of the plan. Whoa! Bazooka Man. Ah, I did see the fight gate announcement. I like how everyone in the in the tweets is like Marvel two, and it's like guys, you don't understand. <laughs> that that ain't happening. Uh, they're pushing. They're actually making a. Uh, they're making a fight gate update. Uh, Electro. They're they're doing a mandatory update for Fightcade one and two, to like fix a lot of problems and like uh, improve the net play and stuff like that. Yep. 
It's been a long time since we got some fight, Cade. Less farting. What's up, Binzy boy? That's pretty normal, honestly. You know, you look at any console throughout history and you see the launch titles and very, very rarely do they hold up well, like, compared to the rest of the library. Ironically, the N64 is one of those outliers where the launch, as small as the launch was, like, Mario and Pilot Wings are two of the best-looking, best-running games on the console. You know what? If I step in this water, I'm going to die. They gave me a platforming section, and I hate it. The jumps in this game are wonky. The arcade one-up big buck hunt. Is that a thing? Did that happen? Because, God, that's... Ugh. Whoops, I didn't want that. Well, they said that you can still run Fightcade 1, Hickther, but that, like, the, the, um, the, uh, what am I trying to say here? I'm very tired. The stuff under the hood, like, has to be changed. So even if you continue to run Fightcade 1, you have to download the upcade, update for Fightcade 1. I think they... Oh, you can stand in the river. Maybe. They seem to, like, hint at, like, potential cross-play across both programs as well, I think. <laughs> I don't know if we're ever going to be lucky enough to get Fight K3. Although it, it sounds like this update's going to have the full Super Nintendo support, though. So, that's a thing. I know, Hector. I'm very tired. I can't remember details right now. <laughs> like, I'm going to say a lot of stuff wrong. I've been up for 22 hours right now. <laughs> Angry cats. I would also still be running OBS Classic. Fuck yeah, dude. OBS Classic was the real program. What? Does this guy just, like, materialize and die in the circle? I mean, Windjammers 2 is in development, Tex. <laughs> it's not too late. I think this guy is just, like, perpetually dying in this circle. I think he's like... Yeah, what What the fuck? What? What? <laughs> what? Eat me. Eat you. Earn, thank you for the 10 month subscription. Yeah, I don't think a Neo Turf patch is too much to ask for. I think we deserve it. Okay, that guy just wasn't there and now he now he is. <laughs> Going up. Is there going to be like a kick-ass secret up here? A mortar is pretty good. 
Yes. That's a pretty good secret. There's a health pack over there. Careful with the fall damage. I think it would be improved with the balance patch. It's never a good look when you have, like, characters that are just not viable. And it's possible that someone will figure out Stuart and Adams, but I don't... I don't think they have the tools to hang. I think they're at too big of a handicap. Oh, shit. Nope. Get away, get away, get away! Scotland patch would be nice. Seven ginger kittens. That sounds like a Christmas present. I mean, even for an arcade game, turf is pretty fair. Like, the amount of gameplay you can get on one credit after just, like, a little bit of practice is pretty generous compared to most, uh, most arcade games. Alright, this literally cannot be the end of the level. They're gonna update the, uh, they're gonna update the objectives on me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hear more gunfire. It's a fair game, like, versus the computer, I would say, for sure. Same landscape in Dynasty Warriors 3. I'd play a Dynasty, like, a Muso Army Men game. Is the bridge going to blow up? Ah, fuck. Oh, that, that was the level. Hell yeah. <laughs> level 5 complete. We're making progress. Got it in 1. I want to play some Dynasty Warriors, man. I was hoping they were going to show Dynasty Warriors 10. I knew it was a long shot, but there was a part of me that was like, Dynasty Warriors 10, come on, PS5. Uh, nope. Locate and rescue Hoover. Locate enemy camp. Enter the portal. Another Mirror's Edge. Yeah, there was like nothing from EA, was there? I don't think a single EA game got shown. And that's the thing, is if there, there's probably a lot of stuff that was planning to be announced at E3. Like, this, this PS5 reveal was supposed to come first, and then like, you know, probably a couple days later, everyone was going to show off what they, like all the bigger companies were going to show off what they had um, cooking for, you know, these new consoles. So... I would expect to see another, like, dozen or two new announcements coming soon. Like, maybe in the next week or so. Among men, Lubu. Among horses, red hair. Dynasty Warriors Extreme Beach Volleyball? Yeah, I'd play that. 
Especially if it has the, the butt bumping game from uh, from two. I yeah, I'd, I'd be down for nine extreme legends. I'd be down for nine empires. Also, where's Dynasty Tactics three? They released your schedule for next year, and you're taking two times your amount of call shifts this year. You're only supposed to be on Sundays. Now you have like 16 24 hour calls and just as many Sunday calls. Ugh. That sucks, man. You get your schedule like a year at a time? That's crazy. Hey, it ain't Bazooka Serious game. Come on. Dynasty Warriors 99? Okay, hold up, though, Electro. A Dynasty Warriors Battle Royale kind of sounds like the sickest idea I've ever heard. Yeah, uh, I think you just struck gold, sir. <laughs> there would also still have to be, like, I think, like 10,000 just mooks on the battlefield. I think that's how it would work. It would almost have to be, like, kind of like a MOBA, where there'd just be, like, 10,000, like, just random schmoes on the map, and as you kill like those npcs or those like those uh ai enemies like you would get maybe like an upgraded weapon or like a bigger health bar or something like that would be your resource to harvest and then you know you can engage in pvp combat with other with other players Or it's all players. Just a 10,000 man Dynasty Warriors fight. That's really shitty, Ramses. Okay, this is not working. Okay, I got a bunch of rifle ammo. But now I need a health pack. Uh oh. You know what else I could do? I have a sniper rifle, right? <laughs> the bait horse. You guys already got... There's already a meta for this game. That's how fast things are developing. But yeah, congratulations on becoming president of video games, Electro. All it took was two words and a number. But you earned it, man. Go. Alright, let's fix that health. Do you get to be horse-mounted units? I think it's going to be like any Battle Royale. Like, there will be horses. You're going to have to find them. You're going to have to acquire the horse. He's already shooting? Oh! 
That's not who I thought it was. No. Wait. I think I see a little bit of them. Come on, fat hitboxes. Don't fail me now. Oh, nope. Oh god, I was about to say I don't think he can hit me from that distance, and then my health started disappearing. God, what a pro. What an absolute pro. What am I hitting? <laughs> Man, Chun Li costumes. I don't. That was really throwing me off, right? Like the 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 muzzle flash looked like the bullet was just stopping like right in front of me, and so I kept trying to adjust my shot. But like all I had to do was aim right at the dude to kill him. Don't you do it. Ah, right, you know what? This is some bullshit. And I won't stand for it. And now the forest is on fire. I hope you're happy. <laughs> That's how it works. One grenade is all you need. I don't see anything yet. Yeah, Plastro is the bad guy. Leader of the Tan Army. He's doing some like fucked up like soldier torture shit too. There's a scene where he was like melting our allies with magnifying glasses. Oh, no, 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 no. Move up on that health. Alright, and go. That's a lot of soldiers. Whoa. Oh, I took a chunk of damage there. I don't even know who has the rights to this game to be to oh shit. Run 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 run. Ah, there's a health pack right here. Woo! I'm pretty sure 3DO company is not around anymore. I think they folded up sometime in like the like 2004 or something like that maybe. Who has Nazca? I think SNK has Nazca. I'm pretty sure SNK has Nazca. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm trying to snipe shit. Is 
This is dangerous. They're still shooting at me. Alright. IPs were sold to Microsoft, Namco, Crave, and Ubisoft. Crave, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing there, Crave? Two K games. Oh shit! Well, yeah, Two K could do something with this. All right. So the last. Oh, he's up on the hill. Oh, and he's a good shot. I can't see. Can I check a grenade up there? Crave did a lot of like budgety stuff in like the PS2 era. I'm scared. Ah! Uh... I could go for a new battle tanks. Yeah, I could do that. Azure Tony, thank you for the host. I don't know how I'm going to get an angle on this dude that's like in any way meaningful. This guy, however, this guy is super dead. Uh, uh, is this tree really doing defense for this guy? There we go. Okay, I think I got him. Spoop. No. Gotta be careful. I don't want to run out of bullets here. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, now I'm behind the tree. Where's he at? Okay, he's shooting again. And that was my last sniper rifle bullet. Well, shit. Grenade launcher? That's a shotgun. <laughs> Grenade launcher? I beg your pardon? Hit detection in this game is weird. A little higher. A little higher. Got him. It only took like all my ammo. All 23 army men humble bundle. I'm down. Alright, we're about to hit our objective.
Okay, we got a bunch of troops up here. And I don't have a sniper rifle anymore. Meridian 59 bonus game. Ah! Ah! Why am I suddenly stuck on this log? Oh, good god. This is a mess. This is a mess. Run! Run! Okay, what do I have that has any kind of range on it? The grenade launcher. My only other option is to go back and see if I can like find some health pack somewhere. I yeah, I picked up a couple of the premium bundles from Fanatical. Did you get anything good, Kydrian? I don't think I'm hitting any of these dudes. All right. We're going to have to retreat, see if I can find some supplies somewhere that I passed up, because otherwise I'm going to die. Time for dying. Oh! The other river didn't kill me. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. You were right. It was, in fact, the time for dying. Uh, I haven't gotten one. Um, what did I get in mine? I'll tell you what I got. Let me look it up real quick. <laughs> it was not intentional. You had no way of knowing. Uh, Uno. Is this a Steam key or is this Uplay? Oh, it's Uplay. Never mind. Fuck it. But if you guys don't mind using Uplay, Uno is $2.50 on Fanatical right now. So I bought two of the uh, mystery premium bundles. Uh, one of them came with The Evil Within, American Fugitive, and Vikings Wolf Wolves of Midgard. And the other one came with another copy of American Fugitive, Shadows Awakening, and Deus Ex Mankind Divided. That's what I got in my two premium bundles. What's up, Funk Sauce? Huh, <sighs> alright. Damn, that was 17 minutes. This game is long. But, like, it doesn't have to be, but it is. What if Hoover sucks? Uh, I mean, that's no no plastic army man left behind, so it doesn't matter. We got to do what's right for the squad. All right, Mo. AFK it up. Corp poor. Ah <laughs> oh, man, don't tell me that. I just kind of want to crawl into bed right now. It like it rained today. It hailed today. Of course, the one day that I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna flip my sleep schedule. I'm gonna stay up. I'm gonna force myself to stay up. And then the world's like, hey buddy, thunderstorm. I had to be strong. Don't you wanna, you know, just, you know. Like, pillows nice and cool. I've been air conditioning it all day for you. 
Your head's gonna hit that, you're gonna go right to bed, buddy. Alright, I'm surprised I didn't die right there. Oh my god, I'm getting hit from that distance. Fuck off. Yeah, man. I had all of that going. I had to force myself to stay awake. Oh, I finished High Score Girl, finally. For some reason, I got to the last episode and I didn't watch it again for like three weeks, but I finished it. I'm interested to see if they're going to do the... Because I guess there's like a new manga of it. I'll be interested to see if they do that as like a third season. It was good. I liked it. I watched an anime and I liked it, as Katy Perry once sang. Whoops, I'm dead. High Score Girl. It's on Netflix. Mo was telling me I had to watch it, and I told him I would. And then I waited like a year. <laughs> and then I cried like every three episodes in that show. God damn, that, that, my emotions were raw. Shit was too real. Also, the mom is the best character on that show. The mom is so good. You were not... I can see behind that log, and you were not back there. That's bullshit. This game and its damn enemy spawns. Go. Yeah, the sister's pretty good. I agree. So apparently, the the third like series of the uh, of the manga is all about the blonde girl, like as an adult. That's all I know about it. I don't know if it's even been released yet or not, but I was reading about it. Like, she becomes the main character. Hot cakes. Fresh hot cakes. Okay, I got a flamethrower. There's my sniper rifle for sniping. I'm gonna do some pretty serious sniping with this. Yeah, it was really cool to see, like, especially the culture that they referenced. Like, I knew the games, but for them to kind of like represent like what the old tournaments were like back then, like what the arcade scene was like back then, it was really cool to see all that, even if it was you know like exaggerated. And a lot of times played for laughs. It was still super cool. The tournament for a lotion set. Yeah, man. No cash prizes in Japan. That shit's illegal. Just had to play for a shitty trophy and a lotion set. I got some lotion today. Earn bought me some lotion. I haven't tried it yet, but it smells it smells all right. Cuz like my hands were getting rough with all this soap. But of course, like the last few days they've been like really fine and like back to normal. And then the lotion came in. No, it's uh coconut water and marine plant extracts. I don't know if it has like a scent to it. Aloe, coconut water, marine plant extracts scented with warm cedarwood. Black, I don't know this word, oud, oud, and white grapefruit. Oud. It's a Middle Eastern scent. 
Yeah, it's O U D is how it's spelled. There we go. That's how you do it. There's a letter at the front that most people can't pronounce. So Oud is close enough. It smells like Oud in here. You guys smell that Oud? Who smells like Oud? Oh shit! I didn't think you could hit me. He did not like my joke. He likes my bullet. <laughs> it's spelled Aoud. Say it. Say it right. Okay, there's a health pack. Ah! Got it. Bump, 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 bump. Alright, I'm doing it. I'm buying Clubhouse games tomorrow. I gotta run to the UPS store, so I'm gonna be out anyways. I'm gonna go drop by GameStop or something and pick it up. You had your warning, everybody. I'm buying Clubhouse games for the Switch. So we can play cards together. Expensive-ass cards together. Ah, 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 ah. I'm running towards the guy trying to kill me. I think there is Go Fish, yeah. They do have Connect Four. That's going to teach me how to play all the games I need to learn how to play for the N64 challenge. Because I know they got Hanafuda on there. So I gotta do that. I, I know they got Shogi on there. I gotta do that. It's gonna be a training tool. It's a it's a business expense for this N64 challenge. That's how I'm looking at it. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm not beat up enough yet for that. Okay, I got 14 sniper bullets. Uh, I see two people on my radar. I see a gun over here, which is probably going to make more dudes spawn if I had to guess. Nope. Oh, hang on a second, though. Can I use this as like a... Uh oh. Ah shit. Shit. I thought I I thought that was gonna give me cover. It did not give me cover. Yeah, I'm in a full list because I haven't been able to find like a full list of what all's on this. Didn't give me enough cover. No. Nope. Full list of games. We have... Is this everything?
Heron Hounds, Moncala, Nine Men's Morris, Reversi, Yahtzee, Dots and Boxes, Connect Four, Go Moku, which is like Connect Five, played on a Go board. I love that game. Uh, Hit and Blow, I don't know what that is. Chinese Checkers, uh, Parcheesi, uh, something called Hex, Mini Shogi, Richi Mahjong, Regular Shogi, Backgammon, Chess, Dominoes, Checkers, Air Hockey, Rock'em Sock'em Robots, Foosball, Foosball Tennis, there's Fishing, there's a Shooting Gallery, there's Slot Cars, Toy Curling, there's a Curling Game, uh, there's like Combat Tanks, there's Bowling, Toy Baseball, it looks like there might be like a bust a move game on there. There's pool, carom, darts, golf, team tanks, blackjack, speed, Texas Hold'em, war, Hanafuda, last card, matching, pig's tail. I don't know what a lot of these games are. President, sevens, takoyaki, uh, war. Klondike Solitaire, Sly, uh, Pipe Dream, Mahjong Solitaire, Spider Solitaire, and a Piano. Yeah. Yeah, I'm buying it tomorrow. I made up my mind. A game about octopus balls. One of these older kittens is named Scuttlebutt. Scuttlebutt's a good name for a cat. Blarney and Banter. Blarney. I like giving cats really like like one syllable names or like were like nouns that aren't names. I like giving cats those kind of names. And I also like giving cats the names of, like, gruff male taxi cab drivers. Like, Lewis. I think Lewis is a good name for a cat. Or Pete. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one, sub. I get it now, like Scuttlebutt, Blarney, and Banter, okay, they all have, I get it, I get it. They probably have it at Walmart. It's like a pretty high profile release for Nintendo, surprisingly, like, I just died. <laughs> I just got killed by a bazooka. Okay. I think I just clipped through this crate and picked up an item inside of it. Yeah, I got an early sniper rifle. Which is good. It'll make my life a little easier. The Weebops. Scuttlebutt is like rumors. Yeah. But you know, like, poop is a synonym for that, too. You could name one of the cats poop. What's the poop? Give me the straight poop. It's a thing people used to say. <laughs> Don't beat around the bush. Give me the straight poop.
That straight dick. Yep. I'm pretty sure. What's up, Sketty? You need a, a an aubergine. Genital. Gotham City laughs at Joker's boner. That's why he's uh that's why he's a criminal. Nobody takes his boner seriously. I don't know how to not get killed there, because that guy doesn't pop up until you walk up to that crate. The first couple times I did it I got lucky, I guess. I just didn't take full damage, but you're sick. Solitaire Mahjong is real easy. If you've never played it, if you've ever played like Shanghai before, or like, um, I think mean, a lot of websites just call it Mahjong, but it's when you have like the whole like pyramid of tiles and you take them off two at a time. It's super easy to learn. It, it won't take you more than like a minute to learn how to play that game. It's true, Sub does like his Mahjong games. That's the thing I know about Sub. I watched a couple of videos on YouTube about how to play Mahjong. And like I didn't I didn't retain a lot of the information. But I have like a basis that I can actually learn from. Yeah, what was that one porn game? I forget what that was. I know what you're talking about. I just can't remember like what the actual like... There we go. That's how we deal with this situation. Oh man, everybody lost the porn Mahjong game. Everybody lost their lewd jongers. That might be useful. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a butt. Son of a butt. Do 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 Scooby do. Did you get it in your premium bundle, Kydrian? But father. It's all about the porn dungeon crawlers. Like, My Butt is a Dungeon, Volume 3. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Doop. She blocked out the sex with a picture of a butt. That's really good. And Kay is very talented.
Juhu. Juhu. Oh, no, 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 no. Second Sarge's Heroes? Well, we'll get to play that one later, Aragorio. This is my first time playing one, though. There goes my boxes. What did you do, Ern? You made an album of all your sucks. So organized. <sighs> oh, this is a problem. Got him. Let's pick up our health. We are good to go. Do, 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 do. here we got a med pack there if we need it uh, going up on that mountain was a damn death trap rifle out oh they won't let me change my weapon while I'm strafing ah uh. Any tips for getting through writing? Um, if you have to break it up into chunks, that's okay. You know, if you do like a hundred, if you have, you know, you have like five hundred words to get through, and you do like a hundred words, and then you watch like a five-minute YouTube video, and then you do a hundred words, and you watch a five-minute YouTube video. Like, it's just a matter of momentum, really. And maybe you'll be like, "No, nah, I can just keep going now." Once you get into a groove. But. It's tough man. I'll have writing assignments that I know I can bang out. In like 15 minutes. And I'll just sit on them for hours. Just being like. I don't wanna. That's a useful tactic too. Yeah. Just start writing something. Oi. I think it is maximum Gucci right now. <sighs> Script dip diddly dip do. Script dip diddly deep dong. More sniper ammo. Ooh, that was a little scary.
I don't see anybody. <laughs> Ow. There's audio available on the Kitten Academy live stream and some dude was coming in to check. That's the second time <laughs> someone said that to stream. Everybody's watching kittens today. I don't blame you. Kittens are really nice. Kittens are good. All right, I'm gonna run out. Put as much distance as I can between this group and me. Ah, I see a target. Be gone. You got another target? Be gone. Be gone, Bazooka Man. You don't belong in this world. <laughs> the Army Man. The army man is half cat. That's what makes him such a deadly predator. Nah, it's it's very accurate. He is quite literally an army man in more ways than one. Consummate army man. Okay. What the fuck game? <laughs> Alright. Grenade launcher it is, I guess. Hehehe. <laughs> Really, they're just not sporting is the problem, you know? Alright. This time, I'm not going to drown in the river. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Alright, these motherfuckers standing next to trees. I had enough. It's bullshit. Yeah. 
You're getting some army men vibes from Death Stranding. <laughs> That's pretty good. I approve. Now see, if I cross this river, there's supplies over there. But I'll probably die. I'm going to blow these up before they blow them up for me. Alright, here they come. got to be worth it. I'm going to add thick and suck to my team. too close. Oh my god, he's still hitting me. Mid what? What? Huh? What? <laughs> what? <sighs> I think they killed Hoover. I think they killed him. They done killed my boy Hoove. War is hell. And plastic war? That's just plastic hell. Gotta get some quiet time. Sometimes that poop is the only minutes of silence and isolation you get in a day. Excellent. I touched the river. Mission failed. Got the thing. I did it again. I did the exact same thing again. 
Wouldn't they float? Wouldn't these army guys float? Does anyone have army men? Can you do a science experiment for me real quick? Just like pop them in the bathtub and see if they float. Thanks. I eagerly await your results. Seems a bit over dramatic, right? What's up, Quicks? If they were injection mold, they wouldn't float. Injection. And this game is just making up the rules as it goes along. Popped collar console with a swimsuit controller. So the sniper rifle bullets are like precious gold. These are the things I just like I have to save. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up, RG? <laughs> That's a good share link, Rain. Back up. Beep. Beep. Get rid of that guy. And that guy. I don't know if I can stream much longer, guys. I'm starting to feel like dizzy, sleepy. I wanted to stay up until 7, which is like 45 minutes away. I think I'm hitting the wall. 24 hours. I'm getting sleepy. Uh, my sleep schedule right now has been like go to bed at like 9 in the morning and wake up at 6 p.m. But I have work on Saturday. So that's not going to work. I will be asleep when you go to bed. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I can't even like sleep on the couch. Because <laughs> our living room is occupied. What about Hoover? Hoover might have to wait. Hoover might have to wait. It seems unlikely that they'll kill him unless I get close. Yeah. My friend slash boss is staying with us until he can find a place. So he's in our living room. Not at the moment, but that's where he's sleeping. Hoover is a vacuum. And in the UK, they use it as like a verb for vacuuming. But also, yeah, he's the he's the army dude we're rescuing in this level. Oh, 
How is it a curious arrangement? Uh, wait a second. Where's my sniper rifle? Uh, if I kidnap him and take over the store, then I have problems that I don't want. <laughs> I am not looking to invite that kind of shit. of fire like an idiot. What the fuck? I already pick up both the health packs? Why did I do that? What was I thinking? Walking right now. <laughs> How am I doing this? How am I doing this? New tech. Just style on the enemy until they get disheartened. <laughs> like, well, he's he's not a threat. Hang on a second. My phone's ringing.
Sorry about that. Let's army. Thank you all for waiting. You're a, a true saint. Well, one of you is a true saint. The rest of you are pretenders. You know who you are. Uh, my boss slash friend, because he's not just my boss, we've been friends for like a decade, uh, was sitting in his car in the mall parking lot taking, uh, taking photos of his Pokemon to raise his buddy level, and a woman walked like into his shot, basically, and saw him taking pictures with his phone and assumed that I'm dead. Assumed that he was like taking creepy photos. And so she started yelling at him and like taking pictures of his license plate. <laughs> so that's that's something that just happened to him. Well, I guess, like, she left before anything was resolved, so, uh, that's the thing. I mean, that's a bold, bold strategy. What is up, Retrograde Tom? T-O-M, Tom, Tom. T is for... Uh, T is for the games. O is for an omelet. M is for... Massachusetts. I miss for I miss for mist one through five. <laughs> I miss for Mensa. I miss for mmm mmm. Hide! Hide, Sarge. When I was in kindergarten, we did a, we did like a school, like a singing program. Every class learned a different song and we did like a, you know, like a big show for all the parents or whatever. And I remember being really, really mad because in kindergarten, we learned, uh, we learned Doe a Deer, a Female Deer, right, from The Sound of Music, and that was the song that we sang. But I was, like, really, really mad because the 8th grade class learned the Tiny Toons theme song and performed that. And I thought that was way cooler than the Sound of Music song that we were singing. And I was like, how come they're doing, like, a cartoon thing and we're doing, like, a musical for old people? What? Yeah, I'm I'm going to fall asleep soon. Yeah, it was bunk. It was total bunk. And then I got even more mad because after kindergarten I changed schools and the music teacher at my first school at my kindergarten also changed schools that year and went to the new school that I was going to, and I was just like, I can't get away from this woman. 
She made me sing this stupid Do Re Mi song when I wanted to sing the Tiny Toons theme. I haven't forgotten about that, Mrs. Urbaniak. I still hold a grudge. Just want you to know that. Retrograde Tom, thank you for the host. I don't know how much longer I'll be on streaming tonight, but it is appreciated on this glorious PS5 holiday. Yeah, it's a very, very Polish name. You had an English teacher in sixth grade who asked the class how to beat Surface and Goldeneye? That's bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit, dorky, and I'm, I'm mad. I didn't have any cool teachers asking me for Goldeneye tips. It's a good question. Z fans asking a good question. I'm hoping it's Surface 2, because Surface 1 is pretty straightforward. I like how every voice in this game is Jim Cummings. <laughs> Just like every death grunt, everything Sarge says. In the Army Men universe, there is one kind of voice, and that voice is Jim Cummings. In the future, the people are represented by two separate but equal voice actors. Jim Cummings and Jim Cummings with a voice changer. These are their stories. Jim Goings. Alright, this time that actually worked out pretty well. This time, that plan was good. Oh god, it stopped being good. I did not want to jump off that cliff. Wow. I think uh, I think the bullets are real. I think they're using real bullets, or at the very least, some kind of paintball. The music is very strange in this game, because it does just like cut out at certain points for dramatic purposes like it's tied to like your location on the map alright I think we're actually doing better than I was the last time I did this
It'd be better if Sarge had a skateboard. It'd be harder on my thumbs, I think. I was a little worried. I was... After that Tony Hawk marathon, I really thought I might have to take like a couple days and just do RPGs. Because my thumbs were hurting. But I powered through day one, and this game is actually pretty light on the thumbs. So, it worked out. We doing this bullshit again? Thank you. Yep, we're playing army, man. Could be worse. It's not that bad. Alright. I'm gonna use my sniper powers. Try and eliminate these targets before they become a problem. And without alerting the guards to my presence so they don't kill my bro. Uh, I'm getting hit. Green Rogue is not on the N64, so it's, uh,. It's not happening anytime soon. I think the frame rate could actually be a little bit better. I set it to high res mode because because uh, expansion pack. The Irish five thousand. Thank you for the follow. That's a lot of Irish. Yeah. Or it's a very long Irish race. Ah! 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 Shit! Stop it! Crap. Why can't I hit this guy from a distance? Is he doing some pop-up bullshit? I right, have it your way. Oh, no, wait. What? I'm getting the dumb hands. Is this gonna work? I don't think it's gonna work. If he's walking back and forth, it might work. Nope. Oh, is that him? Did I like accidentally shoot him or something? Is that what happened? That might have been what happened. Whoops. I think I grenade. I think you're right. I think I did grenade him. The wolf Arok. Thank you for the host. Shooby doop doop doop. Shooby doop doop doop. Did not mean to grenade my friends. Do 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 do. Stop running into all the tents. Ah, it's all good. I stream at weird hours. These things are bound to happen. He said, no. Make sure he disappears off my radar. Yay. 
And strafe. Patience. Well, that's that's the nice thing about them, right? It's like, if I just keep my hours weird all the time, it gives everyone a chance to catch the stream at some point. No one's excluded. Wait, he's not dead? What the... I see you. Don't think I don't see you. Because I see you. Hoover, I thought you were captured. I slipped away when the tan guards were wrestling with Thick. Those goons forced him through some weird energy field back at the camp. Energy field? A portal. You gotta take me to it. But 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 that's on the other side of the minefield. Where's your spine, soldier? You're a minesweeper. Start sweeping. But don't don't do it like right now. Cause I gotta I gotta go see if there's like a med kit or something over here. It's true, he does not have a spine. Good to go. That's not how he came into this world. See, I'm gonna do this and some motherfuckers are gonna pop out. Wee bop. Do wop. Is that a turret? Oh, that's the minefield sign. Uh, it says I have a target in range. And I don't see him. This is straight ahead. Is that mine? Where are they? Okay. This... He better not just, like, randomly walk into landmines, because that's going to be a nightmare. Careful. It's true. Sounds like a lot of work. I really want to pick up that stuff. In case there's a tank over here, but... Wait, is that a tank? What is that? I think it's just a building. That's a tank. Alright. Fuck. Let's go get the bazooka. Fine. Come and knock on my tank. It's been tanking for you. I could run it without sweeping it, but then I would step on something and explode and feel real dumb. I think they do still make Bazooka Joes. Yeah, I think that is a thing. Oh, 
Uh oh. No, 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 no. This is Bravo Leader 1 to Sly Fox. We've located the tan camp. I have Private Hoover with me now, sir. Good. Have Hoover report back to the helipad for evac. Move out, Private. You don't have to tell me twice, sir. Hoover said the tan took thick through a portal. Find that portal and rescue thick. I did not want to run up on this fucking ledge. All I gotta do is enter the portal. But I'm about to get fucking shot! 69k, thank you for the dab, DJ points. It's a lot of points, dorky. I don't know if you realize what kind of fearsome power you wield. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna retreat. This actually seems like a good area to use, uh... Yeah, it seems like a good area to use this rocket launcher. But I would like to bazooka the tank. Oh, got him. How many sniper bullets do I have? Two? No. And... Also no? Kitten sounds. They're going pee 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 pee. Just like kittens do. Alright. Says everyone's dead. Yeah. yeah. I knew it was too good to be true. Can I just mad dash this portal? Oh, I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't. <laughs> I don't blame you. Ah! Uh, there we go. Mission complete. Hot dabs. I'm starting to feel like Alice in Wonderland. Mission complete. Yeah, just the green screen. Someone's going to pay for this. I'm floating. Look at Sarge. Look at Hover Sarge. Hover Sarge is good. Locate and rescue Thick and return to the portal. That's true, they have like the, the stands. They're the real soldiers. I'm just a phony. Uh...
Give me that. Give it. Get some ammo. And, ooh, a sniper rifle. Delightful. And there's something over here, too. A grenade launcher. All right. Infiltrate. Eliminate. Prognosticate. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well. Look at those lilacs. I'm going to try this one one more time, I think. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. bazooka man or a tank that I didn't see I was too busy trying to take out these rooftop gunners sounds like a tank it is it is a tank Oh, don't do that. What the fucking reggae? What? Oh. Ah, shit. Controls, please. Please stop fighting me. Okay, I got my health back. Is that a troop up there? No. Kit yet. I need to save that one. Oh, the shotgun. All right, let's go get it. Good to go. 
Ah, fuck. I did not mean to just fire a grenade at this guy. You guys are sneaky. They're crafty. It's probably the best song in the game so far. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Mines. Is that a helicopter? Very big carrots. Jumbo carrot. Yeah, there's a helicopter over there. We have to bazooka that thing out of the sky. Oh god! Oh god! Huh? Okay, well, I didn't die. You could beat a man to death with those carrots. You could beat a man to death with any carrots. It's just a matter of persistence. Oh no, 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 buttons. Ah, I got the dumb hands. And I, they're not letting me change my weapon for some reason? Why can't I change my weapon? What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Oh no, no, fuck, God damn it. There goes half my health. Oh god. Look at all these soldiers on my map, man. This is a very hostile environment. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do this one next time. I need to get some sleep. It is almost seven o'clock. I pulled it off. I got where I wanted to be. Thank you, Earn, for the resub. Thank you for the new follows. The raid from RP Genius. I'm gonna get some sleep. I'll probably do like a late morning, maybe early afternoon stream tomorrow. Make sure my save is working. Yep, yep. Alright. And I think we are going to raid... Lord BBH is playing the brand new uh, PS4 port of Sunset Riders. And then after that, he's doing a uh, Garo Mark of the Wolves online tournament. So that's going to be some hot arcade content for you guys to watch. I'm going to send you all over there. And I am going to get some sleep. Thanks for watching today. We beat, what, like three levels in Sword of Heroes? A lot better than I thought we were going to do in this short amount of time. I need to stop the clock. There we go. All right. Take care. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.